Hello and welcome to your December 2021 general reading. You are watching Energy and Star Sign Readings with myself, Thomas Janak. Please, please, please subscribe to the channel should you be new here. Please like and please share the video widely. Anyway, Taurus, are you ready for your 2021 uh, December reading? Final months of the year of 2021. What we're going to do is we're going to jump right in here, but we separate things slightly so it is easier for you to understand what the guides are actually talking about. What we will do is we sort of separate this slightly into three, three areas. Um, first, we will look at the overall energy for the months of December as it represents itself for the star sign of Taurus before we go into your emotional core. So we will then look at um, maybe what's going on in your love life, maybe if there is stuff that needs to go and how to go about things. Um, before we then finally go into the third area, the final area of this reading, which will be opportunities. So let's see what's happening um, with regards to um, make your life a little bit better. Oftentimes people, or, or the guys rather, will make this about what sustains you financially, right? So, are you ready? Let's do this. Let's have a look at the overall energy for the month of December 2021. Taurians, this is what we got for you. As an energy, you got the birds, the coyote and the frog. How this works is, the one in the middle, which is the coyote, is the most important animal guide for that part of your reading, but there's an incoming energy, which is the birds, and then an outgoing energy, which is the frog. Don't worry about it, I will explain this to you now. <laughs> Ultimately, the coyote is the one that is the most important. The message of the coyote for the month of December for the star sign of Taurus is this. Don't panic. Don't stress because the coyote is a scavenger. So the message here is that if whatever situation you're in isn't working, just trust that new situations, better situations, can be manifested because the coyote as a scavenger, you know, he trusts that his nose will lead him to food, right? And so that's the, the, the main message for you, because you have birds as the incoming energy. Birds literally say to you, like, remove yourself a little, right? And elevate yourself a little. See things from a higher point of view. The feeling that I'm getting with Taurus for the month of December is there is maybe quite a lot going on, which unfortunately, in many ways, is also very normal for, for Taurus. You, you are by default a very busy star sign, if that makes sense. It is in your in your energy, in your regular being a Taurus energy, um, to um, to not fuff around. It's, you know, you, you, you keep yourself busy and sometimes it means that people get used to you doing <laughs> loads um, and so you don't get a chance for yourself to um, extra relax. So when they're asking you to elevate yourself, with the, what that means is see things from a higher point of view, right? What is it I'm seeing in my life? Okay, what's going on here? Who is draining my energy? Who is causing me um, to lose my cool? So reflect on what your life is like and identify the areas that don't work and ultimately with the coyote in the middle, saying to you is new things can be manifested as long as you trust that whatever it is you're in does not is not the end and if you want to stay in the area you are in you know if you want to not make changes to work life to not make changes with whom you're living with um, you still need to realize as the coyote Right, um, getting getting hyped up about stuff is actually counterproductive to manifesting better things because your outgoing energy is the frog, 
The frog is an amphibian. He can live on land and on water. So what that, what the energy for December tells you is like, you know, since you can live on land and on water, you're going to be fine. Whatever life throws at you in December, Torians, you will manage to deal with it. Okay? That was the overall energy for the months of December for the star sign of Taurus. If you like my work, you can now support me by buying me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. So let's go into your emotional uh, core, your emotional area. Let's see what we got <clears throat> for the month of December. Okay, you ready? Energetically speaking, they're not showing me new beginnings with regards to new relationships, right? What they're showing me is you, Torian, <laughs> assessing how you feel with regards to manifesting new love or how you feel when you assess within or inside the relationship you are in. Ultimately, you have the osprey, the grey fox and the snowy owl. The grey fox is the one in the middle. The one in the middle is always the most important because it is surrounded by the other two. The grey fox is telling you with regards to anything that you're going through emotionally, you are an old soul. You have gotten through stuff many, many times before. And you're still here. You will manage. You will be fine. You're an old soul. You have a lot of skills. I think it's also time for Toreans to, to actually put yourself... Um, um, it sounds a bit wrong, but, but, but it's just the way I get this. Put yourself on a pedestal. And say, like, you know what? You have to deserve me first because I'm bloody awesome. <laughs> kind of stuff. Um, so that people realize, you know, um, that you're not a person um, that is just there to help others. So I, I, my feeling is that you have to elevate yourself a little bit because your incoming energy is the osprey, which is a bird of prey. But the osprey literally is the symbol for having made progress. So what they're saying is no matter where you are, with um, within the relationship you're in or wherever you are with regards to oh shall I trust this <laughs> can I trust um, am I ready for a new beginning what the guides are saying is whatever you're going through right you have made progress already I believe energetically speaking as well that you have done quite a bit of shadow work um, all throughout 2021 my feeling is that for Toreans this may not have been a super easy year, right? <clears throat> um, but you have the grey fox, which means you know you 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 you're doing fine, you're doing all right, and you have mastered so far every hurdle that came to you. Your outgoing energy for your emotions is the snowy owl, and what the snowy owl is about is realizing that the owl doesn't share space so well. <laughs> so make sure that you're not preoccupied um, so you can't see what's going on. So should you be in a relationship? What I've been shown is, again, it's a, it's a cluttered barn that they're showing me for people in a relationship where there's just a lot going on and you need to pay attention or you are paying attention to a lot of things and um, maybe just you know focus on let's just say you are in a relationship and even if there are other people in your house let's just say you're in a relationship and there's kids right you have still time and you can still manifest nights out and you can still say okay you know uh, to your partner we're gonna rekindle here yeah? Um, by by looking at how much we actually love each other rather than thinking, well, it's all so stressful, right? So they're asking you to step away from your... It's almost a compulsion that when, when you 
when you have a group of people you you care about you don't know how to separate them and all they're saying is separate them right this uh, this area of your reading is about your love life or is about manifesting love and that takes effort so maybe it's also a good idea to tell people that are the, that are in your life so if you're not in a relationship it could be people that advise you wrong right or maybe you're advising yourself wrong maybe you're gonna say like, oh, it's all shit i'm never going to get a new girlfriend or i'm never going to get a new boyfriend or the last one i had was blah, blah, blah. so you're not living in the past you're living in the now learn to live in the now and manifest what you feel you want in your life and ask the guides to help you with that because again you have done a lot of shadow work you have made a lot of progress so you're no longer in that bad space <coughs> and the the and the snowy owl is the outgoing energy is literally saying to you that unfortunately in many ways with regards to your emotions in december the final months of 2021 dear Torians, you still go through some healing and you still need to therefore allow yourself some me time to um filter all that out you know sometimes it means having a good cry because tears are sacred medicine right if that makes sense um so be honest about how you truly feel and and maybe it's also good to tell people in the relationship you're in or the people that you're manifesting um you can say that energetically speaking you don't have to say it out loud you know that you are that you have been hurt and so you know because that will inform how you enter the relationship it also informs when you should you be in a relationship um how your day-to-day -day activities are um because you need to heal from stuff that has happened to you and you know you you can't necessarily separate it's pointless for Torians to sit under a tree and do om all day if that makes sense right you go through life because you're a doer um, and so you deal with situations within the frame of your life right that's all I got for the second part of the so-called third part reading here um, so that were your emotions. Now we're looking at opportunities that may come your way. You're watching Energy and Star Sign Readings with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share the video with all your friends. It's really, really important because until um, videos are shared or uh, liked, uh, um, YouTube algorithm doesn't even know that Energy and Star Sign Readings is actually on the map. And because I work with spirits, I do absolutely believe that they want to reach as many people as possible. So if you feel this, this resonated with you, why not share it? Right? So finally, let's go into the opportunities. Let's see what's coming up in the month of December 2021. Here we go. You have the Maze Mother. You have the great spirit in the middle and you have the deer as the outgoing energy <coughs> the great spirit let me just see if i can show this to you the great spirit in the middle is saying to you because that's sort of the um <laughs> the movement he makes <coughs> new beginnings better opportunities are being manifested as we speak whatever it is you manifested is in the process of coming to you really really important you have the maze mother as the ingoing and the incoming energy and what they're saying to you is the maze mother is what you have thought about so she is literally putting seeds out in her massive field, right? And she's very patient with it. Um, but she runs that field. And all the guides are saying to you is when, when you want opportunities to come to you, you have to keep enforcing what it is you want. This is to do with, with um, Torian, uh, Torians or Taurus as an energy 
getting frustrated easily. And they're saying is pointless, not a helpful energy at all. Pointless to be frustrated while it is understandable. That energy would work against you because when you're frustrated, your energy is lower. When your energy is lower, um, manifestations just do not work all that well, right? So, and then the outgoing energy is the deer. And what the deer is basically saying to you is, new opportunities are in the making, right? And it will be unlikely in December to have a lot of new beginnings happening and maybe upgrades in areas because it is the, the month where people are preoccupied with Christmas. And I don't mean this in a bad way, but you know, you're preoccupied with, with a lot of other things um, and um, everything is blinking in town and there's, you know, movies and, and every kind of stuff. And then there is this connotation about, oh my God, it's December uh, I, um, and I'm on my own. I've got nobody. Don't even go there, right? The point the guides are making is December is one of those heavier months because people are very stressed out because unfortunately there's still a lot of ideas in people that they have to buy a gift for their loved ones and the children what, what should we do with the children um, we have sort of lost that connection um, it should be about sharing the cake should be about sharing the biscuits you made um, rather than you being in debt over gifts right if that if that makes sense um I think what the guides are trying to say here is, is um, not giving in to the super stress and not <clears throat> following this, um, this group of, of people, this energy, um, where you feel like, oh my God, I haven't even gotten the Christmas gifts yet, right? This, it, it, this is not about the gifts. This is about the time you spend together and how you feel about one another. And the deer is basically saying to you, best thing you can do uh, to actually manifest new beginnings and better opportunities is to now be calm about stuff. The calmer you are, the easier manifestation will work. Taurians, that's all we got time for. Thank you so much for watching. Again, please like, subscribe and share the crap out of the video because the more you share, the more the YouTube algorithm understands that energy and stars and readings is actually here um, and it helps um, growing the channel, which I think is really, really important. So, see you next month, eh? Bye-bye.